the coming few days and weeks are expected to be quite eventful in the world of MotoGP. Many teams are expected to announce their rider lineup for next year. One of the most anticipated ones happens to be the brand new VR46 team. Luca Marini will ride one of the bikes. The big question now is who will be his teammate, which is something he has now discussed with Sky Sports. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, will Valentino Rossi ride alongside Luca Marini at VR46 in 2022? Marini began by looking forward to the resumption of racing from next week. An interesting second part of the championship awaits us. I will try to improve and get more points than in the first part of the season. It will be more difficult because the other riders will improve and the bikes will also continue to improve. He then spoke about VR46's MotoGP team next year. I have to talk to Ucho and the others about VR because we want to make a clear point of the situation for next year because I think it is a very ambitious project that we have to take to the top and achieve great results. He then explained what he wants from the project. I would not be content only to participate. We need to do as we did in Moto2, that is to become a top team and try to fight for podiums and wins. I'm sure we can do it in MotoGP too, and if I have a factory Ducati it will be even better. He was then asked if half-brother Valentino Rossi will be his teammate next year. He responded with a joke. Valentino will race with me next year. This is the bombshell. He then clarified that it is a topic that he hasn't discussed with Rossi yet. We didn't always talk to him. It all depends on him. I hope he will do what makes him feel better and have more fun. He is okay with what he has done in his history, being the best rider ever in my opinion. He signed off by revealing that being Rossi's teammate will be a dream come true for him. MotoGP without him is unthinkable, and no one would ever want to experience it. I just hope he decides what's best for himself. If he continues to race, I am overjoyed. If he will be in the team with me, it will be a dream. But in the end, it is he who has to make the decisions. Fast Feed Petronas Yamaha's team director Johan Stigefeld pointed out that it was not an easy start to the season. They expected better results than those obtained. He added that they have to keep working and improving the bike. Rossi hasn't had the perfect weekend yet. He also feels that with Franco Morbidelli, they had some good races. They have to start from those good races by analysing what they did well. Pramax Johan Zarco looked back at how at the beginning of the year he said he wanted to fight for the top five first and then have the level to compete for the podium. He is delighted to be in this position. His final goal is to fight for the world championship, and if he has the chance this year, he will not let it pass. He would also really like to raise his level to have the same confidence that Fabio Quartararo has with his bike. From the first free practice session until Sunday, he is always in front. I'm in the best position to fight Fabio, and being French like him, maybe I'll have extra motivation to beat him, but I don't see myself as the Ducati top man, Zarco surmised. Petronas Yamaha SRT team principal Razlan Razali has confirmed that they made a list of candidates who were not in MotoGP, and Jonathan Rea's name was there. As were Toprax and Garretts, but unfortunately age plays against him, they really want to focus on young people. Yamaha's test rider and Petronas Yamaha's stand-in rider for the next three races, Cal Crutchlow, is looking forward to meeting the team in Austria, although there will be some familiar faces for him. Wilco Zielenberg was his team manager in Supersport in 2009, and he actually raced against Johann Stigefeld some years ago, so it's going to be a pleasure to be back with them. Aprilia CEO Massimo Rivola feels that if their development curve stays at this level, a couple of years might be enough to fight for a win. However, considering that they are competing with the top manufacturers, he cannot guarantee that the forecast will be fulfilled, but it is their goal. Aprilia's technical director Romano Albesiano added to that by saying that the first half of the season was very positive. The bike immediately showed positive characteristics. Aleix Espargaro is at the best of his condition. It is a positive evolution. With the bike he has a better feeling. He is confident. Everything is working pretty well. Can Aprilia really win a race in the next two years? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.